Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about another Stalin's favorite, George Malenkov. Although I would name Molotov, Beria, and Khrushchev his closest allies, his second inner circle included Mikoyan, Kaganovich, and Malenkov. And even among those three, Mikoyan and Kaganovich were mentioned more frequent than Malenkov. Malenkov was a peripheral figure, but somehow he got to Stalin's position after Generalissimus' death. Malenkov's appearance was very ordinary in contrast to Lenin, Stalin's or Brezhnev's, whose face you would remember. Malenkov had unclear facial features and was always chubby. He was 30 years younger than Lenin, 20 years younger than Stalin. Malenkov was a person from different generation when the revolution started. He was just 16 years old, and thus he could not have his own ideological position. He was born in 1901 in Orenburg. According to family legend, the family founder came from Macedonia. Their family became nobles, dvarians in Russian Empire. But every generation was poorer and went down the social ladder. His father was a railway public servant, having the lowest rank. He died in 1907, when Malenkov was six years old. His mother brought all children by herself and sent the George to gymnasium. He finished gymnasium in 1919. His son, Andre, wrote in memoirs that his father received excellency in gymnasium, but many scholars doubted the fact that he finished school as there was no transcript. But considering that it was the time of civil war, I think it was impossible to conduct exams and graduation as before. Thus, he might have no graduation certificate nor transcript. When Malenkov was 18 years old, he joined Red Army. He fought on Eastern Front and later in Turkestan. Until 1921, he participated in civil war as a commissar. In Turkestan, he met Valeria Golubtsova, who worked in the library. They never got married officially, but spent all life together. They returned to Moscow in 1921. Malenkov went to Technical University, but did not graduate. He was offered a position in Committee of Moscow Province. In 1924 until 1930, Malenkov worked in the organizational department of the Communist Party, and in 1927, he became a technical secretary in Politburo. Between 1930 and 1934, Malenkov worked with Kaganovich. Kaganovich pushed Malenkov's career. He became a chief of organizational department. This department was in charge of cadres in Moscow party. At that time, Malenkov met many old leaders and new nominees, like Khrushchev. During repression, Stalin needed new people to exterminate his opponents. So, Malenkov was appointed to Central Committee. Along with Malenkov, Stalin promoted Yezhov. Yezhov became a secretary of Central Committee and took Kaganovich's position as a chairman of the Party Control Commission. Kaganovich and Yezhov started to compete with each other, which made Stalin very content. Malenkov took Yezhov's side and became his ally. In 1936, Malenkov, together with Yezhov, conducted checking of party documents. Malenkov made files on every member of the Communist Party, that was 2.5 million people. These files helped to create central nomenclature cadre system, and Yuzhov based his repressions on these files. In contrast to Molotov and Koganovich, Malenkov did not directly participate in mass repressions, because he was not in chief departments at that time. But in summer 1937, Malenkov, Yezhov, Mikoyan, and Kaganovich went to Belarus, Armenia, Georgia, Tajikistan, Tatar Soviet Republic, Novosibirsk, and Sverdlovsk to check activities of party organs and NKVD. 
Malenkov supported Yezhov's deposition. He accused Yezhov in extermination of loyal communists. But of course, he did that only when it was clear that Stalin wanted to get rid of Yezhov. Together with Beria, Malenkov participated in arrest of Yezhov, who was detained in Malenkov's office. During World War II, he was a member of Defense Committee. In August 1941, he was at Leningrad Front. In autumn and winter 1941, he participated in defending of Moscow from Germans. In September 1942, he went to Stalingrad and Don. The next year, he was in Central Front. Malenkov was in charge of committee which restored territories after German occupation. In 1946, he became a Politburo member. In March 1946, Malenkov was assigned to committee of making Bomber 2-4. But because of production of systematic defective airplanes, Malenkov was dismissed. He lost his position of Central Committee Secretary. Although he was at Stalin's disgrace, he was assigned to work under Zhdanov, who got his secretary position. Zhdanov was already dismissed from that place next year and died later, so Malenkov was again in Stalin's favor. In the beginning of the 50s, Malenkov was in charge of party apparatus. As Politburo member, he interfered into industry and transport issues, and mainly he was in charge of agriculture. After Stalin's death, Malenkov initiated new reforms in agriculture. He decreased agriculture tax in twice, cancelled areas from previous years, and proposed new way of taxation for villagers. Malenkov allowed peasants to increase their lands five times. He also increased payment of kolkhoz workers. In March 1953, Malenkov became a chief of Minister's Council, which was occupied by Stalin himself before. He made speeches against cult of personality and suggested collective leadership. In May, Malenkov initiated a new regulation which decreased officials' payment. He also prohibited envelopes, extra rewards for party officials. He started to have problems with Beria. The last one was doing Cotter's rearrangements in Ministry of Defense without asking anybody. They broke their political alliance and Malenkov joined Khrushchev and had collusion against Beria, who was deposed and arrested. Beria's downfall indirectly led to problems for Malenkov. Accusations against Beria also concerned Malenkov. For example, Leningrad's case, about which I would talk about in next videos. Malenkov was very cautious and hesitated to make important decisions. After Beria's death sentence, all punitive authorities were reshuffled. Sirov, Khrushchev's ally, was put in charge. So, Malenkov had no support of punitive authorities like Stalin did to stay in power. In 1954, Khrushchev was already in charge of everything. In 1955, Malenkov was dismissed from all important positions. In 1957, Malenkov, together with Molotov and Kaganovich, tried to outflank Khrushchev but lost. Malenkov lost his place in Central Committee and was assigned as Electric Power Plant Director in ust kamenogorsk In 1961, he was excluded from the party. In 1968, Malenkov moved to his mother's house in outskirts of Moscow. In 1980, he was granted a two-rooms apartment by General Secretary Andropov. He spent his last years there and died in 1988. Outwardly, he maintained a good relationship with Khrushchev. They spent family events together and gave each other presents. What do you think about Malenkov? Thank you for watching my channel. Please subscribe to it and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.